Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel again. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. And today I'll be doing a review. And this is a sponge right here. I don't know if you guys have heard about it. It's from Junior & Co. And this is the microfiber um, fusion sponge. So this is a very unique product because it is like a regular beauty sponge. But it's like fuzzy and it's like velvet so compared to every other sponge they normally have like a spongy looking texture like every other sponge but this one is very very weird it says you can use it dry or you can use it wet um i always use all my sponges wet so i'm not gonna be testing out how to use it dry but it says to use it dry um you would use it for like loose powders blush and highlighters and when you're using it wet, use it for liquid foundation, concealer, and contouring. Um, so I'm just going to read to you what it says how to use it. And then I'm going to show you guys basically if this sponge is like the best sponge in the world. Because if you've heard about this sponge, you've probably heard about it from Nikki Tutorials. That's who I heard about it from first. And basically... Um, it's supposed to be this sponge that gives you like such amazing coverage so I'm here for it I want to try it out and I also thought it would be really interesting to test this out with the beauty blender so right now they're both dry so this is how they look um, in terms of shape so the microfiber fusion sponge is a little bit bigger than the beauty blender it has a flat top right here and the rest of it around and you know the beauty the beauty blender is a typical teardrop shape that is advised to be used mostly wet as well. Um, so it says I should submerge it submerge it in water, take out the excess water, and use it in a stippling motion. Damp the product until you have the desired effect. So it also says do not apply the product directly onto your Juno sponge as it will transfer too quick. So we're going to test it out and we're going to see if this is the new holy grail sponge that you need in your life. Because if it is a holy grail sponge that you need in your life, you will only be spending $6. Yes, I said it. $6 compared to the beauty blender which is $20. I'm comparing it to the Beauty Blender, even though I have a lot of other different sponges because I feel like the Beauty Blender is such a popular sponge that it would be really interesting to compare it to. And I feel like if I can compare it to my Beauty Blender and see the effect that it gives, I could also judge kinda how my other sponges would react to this, um, would compare it to this. So we're going to be testing out this. So I'm going to go and wet these two products. I'm going to show you. I know the Beauty Blender definitely gets bigger in size when you wet it. I don't know for the Juno sponge. So just give me one second. Okay, so for foundation today, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal True Match. And it says I'm supposed to apply some to the back of my hand and apply. So on this side, I'm going to be using the microfiber fusion sponge and on this side i'm going to be using the beauty so i'm going to be using the same technique with both sides so i'm just gonna take some of the product and apply it straight down the middle right now so you guys are going to be seeing my first impression i kind of don't want to get it like it's so fuzzy it's like a little hand teddy bear Back of my hand and onto my face. It says to use a stippling motion and dab and stipple the product until you achieve your desired effect, which is what I always do anyways. So. Yeah, it's definitely not a sponge that you tug because it doesn't really give you like a... Like you don't want to... When you have it, you don't want to tug. You want to dab. In terms of coverage, I feel like it's giving me pretty full coverage. You 
Yeah, this sponge is definitely giving me full coverage vibes. But I wonder how easy it is to clean. It says to clean. You're supposed to rinse the sponge under warm water to loosen trap product. Create a create a lather using a gentle soap and squeeze until all product and water runs clear. So typically how you clean all your other sponges. Okay, so that's half of my face with the microfiber sponge. Okay. So now let's do the other half with the beauty blender using the same technique. Okay. So I'm seeing a difference already. The beauty blender does not apply product. Let me let me continue first before saying anything else. Okay, so my entire face is covered in foundation. A lot of foundation, I feel like. Okay, so face, cup, Okay. So I have my foundation on. I know my foundation is a little bit dark, but it's fine. Ain't afraid of a little bit of chocolateness. Cause my I like my highlighter is a little bit lighter anyway, so it's like perfect for me. But yeah, so far I did notice a difference. I'm gonna actually okay, so right off the bat, I feel like the beauty blender side applies your foundation a little bit more natural it's not as much coverage i don't know if you could really see it i hope you can really see it and then the microfiber sponge it applies the product a lot more so if you like a full coverage but you want to use a sponge this is a really good sponge to use and i also felt like when i was using my microfiber sponge as opposed to using my beauty blender i went like this dab 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 and i was covering a lot of areas at full coverage and i felt like to try and get each side to match as well as possible i felt like i had to keep going in with my beauty blender i feel like the beauty blender sucks up a little bit more product than this so if you're really like not a fan of sponges sucking up all your products then this sponge so far is doing a good job um i'm not like completely like wow like this is revolutionary i do think it's kind of innovative because the fabric is different everything about it is just very very unique and it's just like wow like microfiber fusion sponge that sounds like something um but in terms of just having a sponge to use on your face i would so far recommend it because it blended up perfectly fine and it gave me good coverage and okay so the concealer i'm going to be using is from nars it is the radiant creamy concealer i'm using the shade amand yeah i'm using the shade amand so i'm just gonna apply the concealer on both sides under my eye and then Blend it out as usual and let you guys see. Okay, so now it's time to blend blending out. I'm gonna blend out the beauty blender side first. So 
the beauty blender is doing what the beauty blender does. So blended beautifully. Time for the sponge. Okay, so you guys will definitely be able to tell the difference just by the concealer. As you can see, this side is much more blended out and this side has, well not more blended out, but this side is not as, this side doesn't have as much coverage as this side. So I feel like I'm gonna be using this one to blend out all my concealers because I feel like, yeah, I don't want my concealer disappearing when I apply it. And I feel like the Beauty Blender gives it like a soft, blended, nice look. But if you want a little bit more coverage, Fusion Sponge, I don't know. Fusion Sponge is doing pretty good so far. I'm really impressed. Um, like I said, it comes to coverage, like, this seems to be doing the job really well so yeah so we're gonna continue and we're gonna apply some powder under the eye okay so for under the eye I'm gonna be taking this using the same sponge I'm gonna be using the beauty bakery flower powder now it says that they recommended using this product dry for loose powders. But I mean, this is just like a regular thing to use your sponge and after blending out, apply the concealer. Well, I could use my brush, but I really wanna test out the sponge and see if it will work. Cause the Beauty Blender works. And if you're gonna compare it, you gotta go all the way through. So, Oh my god, I almost put the beauty blender on this side. So using the fusion sponge, taking up the product. One thing though, the shape of this sponge, this is not the only one, that they have like another one with a more pointed top, but when I was ordering it, that one was sold out. But this shape doesn't really get like right up in there. But the, look at that. The other shape definitely would. Okay. I'm not really going to bake, so I'm going to brush this right away. Actually, I didn't even put any concealer onto the rest of my face. Like... What's really going on? Nor did I really contour. So to blend out the rest of it, I'm gonna use the fusion the fusion sponge. So the product blends the way smoothly and perfectly from the beauty blender side. And same from the fusion slide. Okay, so this is how my face is looking. I'm gonna set the rest of my face. I didn't use any cream um, contour today. I probably should. 
Yeah, so I'm gonna use the Fenty Stick Foundation. I do feel like for my nose contour though, the Beauty Bender kind of blended out everything a little bit better. Just because I said the Beauty Bender kind of takes away a lot of the product. And with a nose contour, you really don't want a lot of product. You don't want a lot of product showing on your nose. Okay, so pretty much um, my base is finished and everything. I'm going to do my eyebrows and my eyes and everything. And I'll see you guys in a quick second. As quick as maybe... Okay, so I completed my entire face and so I'm able to basically give you guys my final thoughts on what I think about the Beauty Blender versus the Micro Fiber Fusion Sponge from Junior & Co. Now, the Beauty Blender in terms of price point, I already mentioned that you can get three of these for the price of these. So, if you're really thinking about price, definitely go with the Juno. It blends out really, really well. I'm not really going to talk about the Beauty Blender because I think I've spoken about the Beauty Blender already or the Beauty Blender is a lot more popular, I would believe. So the Juno sponge, it does give you very good coverage. It gives you a little bit more coverage than the Beauty Blender because I feel like maybe because of the material that it's made out of, it doesn't suck up as much product when you're blending out your foundation and your concealer. So that's really a plus. I got free shipping when I ordered this. So I only paid $6. I don't know if they still have free shipping going on on the side. And this product did take a really long time to get to me. But I feel like it's really no big deal. It's honestly just a makeup sponge. But it is a good makeup sponge if you're wondering. And it's just like so cool to feel on. Like it feels so good. Um, but it does the job. It blends out your foundation really well. I would definitely... I will definitely keep using it. I really liked it. I don't have any issues with it at all. And it made my um, foundation look a little bit more full coverage. If I'm looking in the mirror and I'm looking side to side, I do like the under eye right here because I do have dark under eyes. So I definitely always want to have full coverage under my eyes. So in because of that reason, I would definitely use it. I will definitely be using the Junior the Juno sponge under my eye because just for that reason um but overall both work great of course but as I said three of these for one beauty blender still love the beauty blender of course we'll always use it but um that's just something to consider if you don't really like a lot of products under your eyes and stuff then probably you want to go for the beauty blender and you don't want something that's so full coverage and so much but if you're a glammy girl you like like glam and you want to do bam bam and you want the coverage and you want everything then i feel like this sponge is not bad um i'm gonna have to clean it and see how well it cleans and i guess i'll leave that information in the description box um but so far so good with the juno sponge it's a thumbs up. It's a go for me. I don't have any problems with it. So I want to thank you guys so, so much for sticking with me to the end of the video. And let me know if you're going to try this Juno Micro Microfiber Fusion Sponge. And um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, of course. And if you have this sponge, also leave a comment below and tell me your thoughts of it. Will you be getting it? Will you tr be trying it out? Or do you already have enough sponge and you're just like, nah, I'm good. Anyways, <laughs> whatever you choose, I'm glad that I was able to review it for you guys and give my thoughts and my opinions about it. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching the video and I'll see you in another video. Bye.